It's so fitting that this beautiful new school is named in honor of my former colleague and dear friend, the late freeholder Blanquita Valenti. Freeholder Valenti believed deeply in the importance of education. Today marks the beginning of an exciting chapter in the shared journey towards excellence in education and celebrate Ms. Valenti, who was so important to the city and to Middlesex County. This school represents opportunity and empowerment. It's where young learners and those entrusted with their education will develop lifelong friendships through mentoring and learning. Blanquita's passion for education and public service provided the impetus to make a real and meaningful impact in our community. While Blanquita may not be physically with us today, her legacy will live in the hallways of the many steps of children that will call this building their home. Because you see, it will no longer just be a school. It will hold space to facilitate brilliant ideas and knowledge to take form that will later be used to change the world. Every time that we walk a hallway, we see something new, we see something different, and the opportunities that our students will have here, they're going to be able to experience that and just grow, and we can show them so many different avenues that they can learn, and we're excited of what that can be for them. When the history of this project is written, they're gonna point out how the hospital worked with the city and DEVCO and the state to help with locating the best location they could, and helping in terms of the financial aspects to make this a successful project. We are building the only standalone cancer hospital research facility in the state of New Jersey. And that we've been able to leverage to provide funding for this school. This school is being built at no cost to the taxpayers of New Brunswick. I hope we set a standard. I hope other people look and say, you know what, this can be done. What makes the heart of the community are the families and the schools are such an integral part of that to mold young minds and help everyone do what's best for the people most important in their lives, which are their children. It's a part of our mission to support endeavors like this because a healthy community is a healthy life for all those who reside in it. We are absolutely delighted to be a part of this project and it is truly an honor for us to be here. Our kids are our future. Sometimes people think that hospitals are here just for patient care, but we go out into the community and we like to support services such as outside clinical services and even education. I want to thank all the parents of all the students and all the students who have worked so hard to come up with a great opportunity for their families, their children. You can't thank Robert Wood, St. Barnabas enough for what they've done. And Jack Morris, Jack Morris donated the property. Any words that I may be able to express will fall way short to adequately capture our tremendous gratitude, especially to the mayor, to the Board of Education, Middlesex County Board of Freeholders, to Robert Wood Johnson, Barnabas Health Organization, Mr. Jack Morris and DEVCO. I know that in my heart of hearts, the mom is with us here today and she has a smile that is ear to ear. We are convinced that the knowledge of her story and commitment to service will inspire young students of all ethnic and cultural persuasions to excel and to improve their lives as well as the lives of the people around them. From all of the Valenti family and from the depths of our hearts, thank you, thank you.